Hey friends, I want to talk to you about how to complete your shadows and time of day Google Slides. When you open up this document, you need to pop it out so that you're seeing it in a new tab like so. And this presentation is self-checking. So as you go through it, you're going to click the slides to either advance or answer questions. So it begins by telling you that um, the topic is about time of day, length of shadows, and direction of shadows, and that your learning goal for today is to be able to predict patterns in shadows based on the way the Earth rotates, causing the sun to appear to move across the sky. Now, this is important because we've already talked about the fact that the sun isn't really moving, it's the earth that is moving around the sun. But from our perspective, it appears as though the sun is moving. Okay, so then you're going to click here to advance to the next slide. And then there's questions for you to answer. If you live in the northern hemisphere, you will always need to face south to see the sun rise in the east and set in the west. So think about this statement. Don't just click through, actually think about what it's telling you. If we live in the Northern Hemisphere, so up here, the top half of the globe, you will always need to face south to see the sun rise in the east and set in the west. If you're not facing the right way, you won't be able to see the sun rising or setting. In order to see the sun from the northern hemisphere, you must face the south. Because you are looking south, what direction is the sun rising and setting? Let me read that again. Let's think about this. In order to see the sun from the northern hemisphere, you must face the south. Okay, we just read that when we looked at the globe. Because you are looking south, what direction is the sun rising and setting. Click on the direction that is the correct location. So when you make your choice, you're going to click one and it's going to tell you either that you got it wrong or that you got it right. If you get it correct, you can keep going. If you get it wrong, you've got to go back and try again. Next question. When an object is opaque, Light is unable to pass through. This causes shadows. Since we're looking south at the sun, shadows in North America always face blank. So you're going to pick the one that is correct. Since we are looking south at the sun, in what direction do shadows in North America always face? So I chose the correct answer, which was north. So now I get to keep going. So now I have learned something. Shadows always face north. Check your work so far. As the sun changes position in the sky, so do our shadows. Okay, that makes sense because I've seen my shadow getting longer and longer and longer as the day goes on. And like right in the middle of the day, my shadow is really short. So that makes sense to me. Okay, let's look at this question. Approximately what time of day is it? Look at this long shadow that's stretching way far away from the golf bag. And notice the, the um, relative direction of where the sun is at. What time of day do you think it is? Do you think it's 7 a.m., like breakfast time? 12 p.m., which would be noon, or 5 p.m., which would be like dinner time. Oh, I got it wrong, so I need to go back and pick again. Okay, so I got, got it correct the second time. Hopefully this makes sense to you. There is nothing separate that you need to turn into me with these Google Slides. Do make sure that you're taking, taking your time and thinking about what you're learning as you go through the slides because some of this information will be on your quiz on Friday. Let me know if you have any questions.